Dr. Quill, wake up. Huh? Uh, Drax. We talked about this, man. You gotta stop. Your illegitimate child was correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, d d yeah. Okay. Um, we just need to have faith. <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother. The Kree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. But with faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly. But, but, but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, yes, uh, time. I just need... Time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. However, I am less certain of the others. The wooden one may come around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? Because that's murder, man! If you kill them, then they can't accept the promise. The Matriarch will bring them back, along with everyone else. That is her promise. Right, right. She'll, she'll bring them back. I just thought you were trying to turn a new leaf. I do not have foliage. I'm just saying, think of the example you're setting for Camaria. The Matriarch's promise requires uncompromising faith, something you will understand when you finally accept it. Choose well, Peter Quill. You have landed on the Matriarch's planet. When I return, she will demand your answer. Wait! Drax! We can talk about this! Crap, 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 crap. Please let there be calms, please let there be calms! Also, please be okay. Hello? Anyone? Peter? I'm broke. Is there a reason why Muscles locked me in my room? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am broke. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosanct to find the Matriarch. But don't worry. Don't worry? D yeah, d you know. Be happy. I might be able to activate the Milano self-destruct sequence. That's your plan? Ooh, 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 what, you got a better one? A little hard to concentrate with Peter singing. I'm thinking. Uh, think somewhere else. Stop singing. For your information, the Lama thing finds my voice delightful. Her name's Cammy. That's it. We're locked in, but she's not. So, she's an idiot. Doesn't mean she can't help us. Can you transfer ship schematics to my tablet? Maybe get me a camera feed. Yeah, okay. Why? I want to check where Cammy is. Done. Go ahead and grab it. What are you thinking, Quill? Okay, I see her. Gamora, sing something, anything. Why? Just do it! <sighs> this is me singing a song. I hope you like it because <laughs> oh, I don't. Wow, she hates your voice. Fuck you! It's good! She responds to singing. Maybe if we direct her to that panel near the cockpit... The emergency door controls. Yes! 
Just keep singing. I'll use the PA and try to lure her to chew the lock override. She chews everything. Peter, do I really have to do this? I mean, Cammy's a space llama. One who... In every life we have some trouble, but when you worry, you make it double, don't worry. Can't be any worse than this. It really can't. Don't worry, be happy. La, 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 la. Well! Boop, don't worry. Be don't worry, be happy. It's gonna be stuck in my head. I expect some trouble. Mm -hmm. So don't worry. Be happy. Frickin' enchanting, Peter! Uh, how much longer is this gonna take? I wrote. I hope you learned it no for no la 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 Okay, come on girl. Give it a little nibble. I'll do what you do best, you toothy bastard. Guys! I think she's doing it! I can't believe it worked! We're not on the Sacrosanct. We're on a planet. Well, that's a flark in relief. Let's get the scud out of here before Drax comes back with his new best friend, the Kratakan Matriarch. Rocket, stop! We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't make me pull rank on this, man. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no... Not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. We're not leaving. Well... Flark, Quill. It's about Kratakin time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm good. Good. Then let's go find our friend. So, where are we anyways? Definitely not sacrosanct. Just want to make sure you're up for this. Don't matter, Quill. I'll try anyways. Okay, here we go. Not this place. You know where we are? In a Flarkin Lagoon? How many times I gotta tell you people, I don't like water! Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, oh, the stuff is gross! Uh, are you kidding me? Uh, wet fur is the worst! Uh, 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 Rocket! You alright? That's it! I hate water! I hate being wet! And I hate not getting paid! We're not here to get paid! We're here to save Drax! 
Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Panma. More religious nut jobs. Great. They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles. Pacifists. That's even worse. I am Groot. You saw them on nowhere? That's the last place I'd expect to see a priest. So how do you know this place? I... Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh... Don't fall, you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Well, even if he did, he knows how to swim. Unlike some people. Is there anything we need to know here, Gamora, about what we're getting into? Lamentus is a refuge. There are no weapons, no conflicts. The priests, they live in... Found Drax! Where is she? Where is the Matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Put him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! Men have lost! Rocket, a little help here? Uh. Hi, guys. Mantis? How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. Or is it Omphad who teaches me later? Don't worry, Green Mimi's fine. <clears throat> we'll find you. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? Whisper a course correct, obviously. Shh. It's okay. Stay with me. Quiet in the dark. Another one of your girlfriends, Quill? Not in this time. Come on! The creepy cave's this way! The what now? The creepy cave! Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark isn't unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am good. The point is, or was, or... Which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns. And in some, we save him. Here! And here we are, where the Kotati take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you... Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Katati? I am... Uh, plant people, like Groot, but, uh, lame. The Kotati are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs>
Uh, what are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of the space case. She's not a space... Spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Double floor! Allison said that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Okay. No, no. But you do. Whoa! This place is really unstable. Lousy cave's gonna kill us all. Oh, no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout little Fuzzy's alternate future. I have heard so many of his panic final gasps. Okay, let's not tell little Fuzzy that. Too late. I heard. Sure, it'll get drier from here on out. Oh, you are so wrong, Stir Fry. I yeah! Giddy up! Crap! That was kind of close. That one sometimes gets the more. I doubt it. You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Mantis, any chance Drax can. Green Meanie cannot be burdened. It takes all my mental fortitude to keep him enmeshed in lies. One misstep, and I lose him. And then he kills us all. Again! Group, maybe if we all push together... I am Groot. He says... He says it would need Green Meanie's help, but Green Meanie can't help. Until you help him. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no. no! I don't trust them not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Yo, genius. This thing about me don't look too sturdy. Not the least of the guy I've Entire class is here. Problem solved. Still ignoring the bigger problem of not knowing what we're looking for. Don't focus on what. Focus on how much he means to you. Uh, all the times Drax has done something for us. Whoa! I did not see that coming! Uh, this is a lot of trouble to go to for a freaking colleague. Drax has definitely been there for us before. Like on Seknarf. First time we got jumped by that tiger with the squid face. Oh, Stumpy? And the second time we got jumped by Stumpy. Uh, Mantis? Should we be worried about this fog? useful just then. What are the odds of those things living on this planet? Maybe they weren't native to Seknar? And this is where Hellbender first got them? Or maybe Hellbender's here, tracking us across the ends of the galaxy, because she wants us dead. Lady H wants us dead. You realize what that means? If we're all gonna die? I think I see what he's doing. It means we're a team. When we piss someone off, we piss them off together. I'm gonna assume that sounded better in your head. Water, fog, and monsters. What's the forkin' deal with this place? There has always been a great pa- What the floor? There's two of them! Two of what? Mantis! 
this? Do these things have anything to do with what we're looking for? Inconclusive. But I'm thinking no. What do you think, Quill? You best friends? on both sides, remember? Whereas me, I don't need to take sides to mow anybody down. I just love making scumbusters go boom! Okay, okay, I get it. Those creeps out there, fighting them gets the blood pumping. Oh yeah. But if you listen to that pumping too hard, your heart takes a dive and the losing starts. Stay on target and we'll make them all go boom. Who's with me? Yes! Great! Slow down! Oh, never mind, you're busy! Why is it like I feel like a matador! Here, something we have to avoid. Mantis? Over here. All right. I like Drax as much as the next guy, but I am officially sick of this stupid cave. You, uh, see something out there, Mantis? So many things, too many things. Shadows of a civilization that lived here once before. Forlorn faces that can see like me, horrors yet to come. And other shadows, too. Ours, not ours. Figure that's watching us now. Or was watching us then? I see rocks and uh crystal things. A statue that looks like a face. More rocks. I like yours better. I see something else. I see friends willing to die for another friend. Yeah, well, I'm hoping it doesn't come to that. Me too, Star Guy. Me too. Rocket, think you can crawl in there? For what? So I can get eaten by whatever lives inside? The stone faces. Whatever we're looking for is beyond or beneath or behind one of the faces. What do you say, Rocket? I bet you can find us a way back there. Fine. Whatever. <coughs> oh, smells like rotten spike eggs in here. Okay. Setting the charge. Stand back! I don't think this is the one where he kills us. Green is lost in an ocean of lies. We need to bring him ashore, but we also need to be grounded in the positive. We're his lifeline. Positivity isn't exactly our strong suit. You always underestimated yourself, Gomorrah. Hey, crew, buddy. Think you could lift this? Right about there. No, there ain't nothing he needs to know about me. Keep your bar full shot. Don't let your thoughts wander. It's not safe. Keep focused on Drax. I am good. Yes, caring for Cammy. Wait, who's Cammy? It's a long story. Ooh, my favorite kind! You find anything, Peter? Nothing in there that could save Drax. Is there another face somewhere, Mantis? 
Mantis? Huh? Oh, yeah. This cave is multifaceted. Get it? did seem to care about the Nova kid, didn't he? Always wanting us to do right by her. Even when it was clearly a bad idea. Of course little Fuzzy cared. Under that angry exterior is a heart of gold. We'll each need to face our fears. Some here, some not. But facing them is most important. You know, running is sometimes good too. For you, yes, star guy. Found another way. Just me or them crystals look super dangerous. Don't worry your fuzzy little head. You only die from a great fall in two timelines. This probably isn't one of them. At least the crystals are kind of pretty. We need to get on those crystals, group. Just let Quill get out there first. I don't want you falling. Ooh, definitely remembering something now, I think. We need to be careful here. I think what you're seeing is some version of me pushing you off a cliff. Oh, little Fuzzy. Your volatility is surprisingly consistent through all versions of time and space. Mantis, back in nowhere, did you know what the church was going to do? I don't know. I see so many different things at the same time, it's sometimes hard to know where I am. Do they try to take over the galaxy in all realities? Not all, but most. Sometimes it's so noisy, like a bajillion ships taking off at the same time. Finally, the face of a thousand lies, I think. Is gonna help us save Drax? It tries to keep us from saving him. We seek something behind the face, beyond the lies. You want me to blow it up? Scott! Watch out, everybody! Uh, thanks. You don't usually make it. The Kotati mentioned the faces in the dark before, but I always thought it was metaphorical. Bug Lady is absolutely bonkers. <laughs> of course I'm angry. I'm what? Wandering around a cave that's falling apart, looking for Flark knows what! Can you get us through here, Gamora? Flark, I'm going in. No! You mustn't! You don't want me to cut the thing? Wait, no, not you! Something bad is about to happen! Oh, oh that's it! I'm going in! Fuck it! Blow up this statue, save Drax, and get out of here! Yes, but... Time to start trusting our instincts, Quill. Bug Lady said the face is keeping us from helping Drax, so we gotta destroy it! Little Fuzzy! Don't do whatever it is you're about to do! No, no, no! Do. I'm done with all the riddles! Don't mm -hmm. not, not do whatever you're about to do! Let's just hear Mantis out on this, okay? Give me a tick to think, okay? What if the whole place collapses? Then at least you wouldn't have to argue with him anymore! Not helping! Groot, mm -hmm. can you tell him to stop? <laughs> did she or did she not? Rocket, don't! One. You can say that again. Oh, I will. Uh, Mantis. Where's the matriarch? This is the one where I fail. We're trying to help you!
That's okay. The one where I fail is the one where you don't. Stay with me. Hey, guys! Check it out! I'm totally not dead! Ugh. What? You almost killed all of us! No more blowing things up, Rocket! Ever! You're gonna regret saying that. Survey! Are you Spartoid? Why didn't I know that? Maybe you aren't always... Or I forgot. What? Those guns do something again, Quill? He saved Drax after you almost killed us all! How'd a gun do that? Show him! Star Guy! I'm telling you, Quill. You should let me take those guns apart. Figure out how they tick. I swear you'll get them back. And that's how it's done. Eh, me exploding stuff is still better. It's really not. Next time we're in a huge fight, you're gonna beg me to blow stuff up. Beg me! More of that weird fog. Be glad you ain't this close to the ground. Oh, little Fuzzy never dies from gas in here. Just falling, crushing, Chitauri, Wait, water... Wait, hang on. Did you say Chitauri? Oh, I did, didn't I? Such a funny sounding word. This is impossible! I thought I'd never see these markers again! I hoped I never would! Sex, I'll be right there! Hey. Uh, uh. 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 
Busted open the door of glory Music to my ears! Bad guys! Attack! It's a breathing room, Drew! Fully forthright. You okay, Mantis? Oh, hey, Gamora, you look less depressed. Wait, we went over that already, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That thing of yours is still bothering you, though, right? What thing? I'm fine. Just how far down does this cave go? Heads up. More than rock monsters. Maybe we just got off on the wrong foot. I don't think they're looking to make amends, Quill. Oh, maybe I can help. I think I speak their language. Let's see those branches! Let loose, Rocket! Splat, it paints an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. We are painting the battlefield right now, Rocket, in so many shades. But if we're too excited, this love fest, this dazzling euphoria, it'll all disappear. Who's with me? Oh, yeah. Rifle now, Rocket! Hey! Don't suppose you guys know how to heal our buddy? Yeah! Smaller, greener version of you guys! Maybe? Oh no! This, where's the bathroom? It's all you, Gamora! Rocket! I hope we're supposed to be shooting these guys, Mantis! Else we're today if we don't die! Skip that stone to death! <sighs> well, that went about as well as expected.
infected. I was sure. Oh, maybe I just haven't learned it yet. I think I picked up the word for kill. Or the grunt, anyway. The fog doesn't seem to bother whatever these giant things are. Maybe they're just smart enough to not wander around in it. Unlike some people. I am Groot. I know why we're doing it. And don't think Drax won't hear all about it, either. Um, guys. I know, little Fuzzy. And it is the only way forward. What's happening? He sees what lies ahead. Uh-uh. No way. No flarkin' way. Doesn't seem that wet. Like, medium wet. I ain't walking through a flarkin' monsoon! Maybe there's a way to use those plants to divert the water. We're a team. We'll figure it out. Are we seriously gonna let this keep us from saving tracks? Sure! You save him while I drown! How does it even grow to even grow down here? I don't know. Those big leaves could be useful. Like a dam. Dam what? No, it's... Yes! It's just a plan, man. Not a you. We ain't got much choice. Uh, it's actually kind of refreshing. Like a quick shower. What do you say, Rocket? I ain't ever showered either. And I ain't gonna start now. It grew. I am Groot. He ain't gonna let you leave me. It's not that. I just want some help up here. I'm good. All right, he'll do it. Hey, if I jump, you can catch me, right? Guess we'll find out. That's not very reassuring. Just don't screw up the jump. <laughs> Why don't we just leave him behind? Focus on saving tracks. He'll still be here on the way back, and if he isn't. Group would never go for that. What would you guys do without me? Yeah! Where, oh where, will we get another gun? Alright. I think I can torch these things with a little pew pew! Missing Drax's anecdotes about the death. Oh, you know he has some Tathian fairy tale related to our current situation. And... Ugh, crap! It must still be stuck somewhere. Mora, let's climb up there. Get eyes on the problem. The problem is that Rocky needs to suck it up. Yeah, good luck with that. In Little Fuzzy's defense, he has died drowning in far less water than this. Exactly. Wait, what? This isn't. You got a thing with water. What do you want me to do? Fear the almighty Star Lord. Say something? God, nope. Who's I? Who's I? Mantis, any of those realities where we just leave Rocket here, hypothetically speaking? Oh, yes. Anywhere I don't kill them all for abandoning me? Just like that! Please, don't give him an even bigger head than he's already got. No, it ain't none of their business. What's to understand? I ain't a fan of drowning. Less wet. I'm zero percent interested. All right, I'm on it. Little help, Kamora. Up we me. go, group. That's good. One more time, group. Here's good. Easy, girl. 
they mean? They'll figure it out. Gonna need a hand up again. I hope we're not just. Let's do this. Rocket. Keep it up and I'll swipe him in your sleep. That bad. Translation. Rocket don't Rocket don't like wet. We get it. It's a scary dark cave. We're all probably gonna encounter things we don't like. True. But nothing as much as little fuzzy doesn't like getting wet. Never underestimate someone's deeply rooted fear, Sir Fry. Especially when you do not understand the root. Huh? What's your hurry? What? I told you to go before we left the ship. What do you say, Groot? Now that we got the whole team together? I am Groot. Absolutely. A dry rocket is a happy rocket. This is you happy? Oh, yes. You should see some of the dark versions of Little Fuzzy. Or maybe you shouldn't. This crab corridor ring any bells, Mantis? Pretty sure this is the wet part. Oh, what now? I thought we just did the wet part. Oh, it gets worse. Everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. I am Groot. Has he always been able to do that? I am Groot. He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't. Shut up. You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on half world. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Mark, I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path and then try to find the exit. Groot says stay close to him. At least you'll be able to see. getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it isn't. What's that supposed to- Shh. I don't- More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QZ. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. More's gotta be right. We already know Hellbender's goons tracked us here. What do you know? Hellraisers! I know what I heard! Stick it to a group! <laughs> Look, the fog's clear. Yeah, there's a way out now. Weird. It's like this place 
has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Anyone else getting deja vu? It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Novacor. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's not that. We're clearly hearing different things. Moore's right. I hear voices, just like when I put on that helmet in the Nova base. You're both crazy. No flarkin' way! I heard Kelly! It doesn't matter who's right. You can't trust what you hear. Have a new one! I'm on it! Sums it up. At least there's a way out now, I guess. Can we go back? I'm not even sure we're back with Lee. We go down. Always down. Okay, now that's them bouncing eyeballs from the QC. No question. I'm not doing this. Something is clearly messing with us. Shitari? Okay, well, that's just wrong. You're worse than her. Those overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. Something isn't right. There's something we're supposed to do. We're not do? It's like everything we ever fought is coming back to haunt us. Shh. What do you mean, shh? Stargast's right. Shh. And about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Yeah, like that was ever gonna happen. I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things. With the source, it's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for us. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, bug lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like, if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy. But no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Ooh, do you all feel that? We're so close. You finally figure out what we're here for? No way. But I do know it won't be very easy, especially not for you. possible timeline, we all get smushed. Great! You mind helping us across? <laughs> Let me guess. Further down? Only if you want to save that and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Getting closer. The lies inside Green Mini's mind are starting to act up. Okay. One left time! Oh, wow. It's fine! I don't remember this part. Okay. 
Okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing. Um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... No! No, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for. Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay. This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we've never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um, well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. Just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I! But none of those things are why we're here now, right? You're down here, kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! Our friend. And Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. But, or if you do, I don't catch it. But I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help! We're a family! We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy! Really great speech, Quill. Why didn't anyone stop me? You're on top of roll! It really was one of your better speeches. Vinta! Oh. This is how it's done! Never thought I'd say it, but evil me looks good. Right away from hiding the statue, Saga! The evil must be stopped from within! You get that, Peter? Yeah, yeah, yeah! Some of us are statue! Statue! We gotta nuke the statue! See 
Seriously, Rocket! You need to blast it from the inside! Please, Rocket! No! I'd rather die shooting than die drowning! What about not dying? Can that be an option here? I'm sorry, okay? I just can't! Last time someone got stabbed! I know Shut you. up, Quill! I know what I gotta do, and I I'm just gonna... Really? I'm gonna suck it up and do it! Be careful, Little You got this, Rocket! Little Fuzzy! Oh, please work, please work! Come on, Rocket, you can do this! You can, right, Mantis? Mantis! for us hey a friend needed help bunch of them rocket man hey. can we please just save Drax already warm very very warm I think she wants us to jump in the hole I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as Flark didn't get all wet for nothing. We need to hurry! I can feel the Matriarch's lies getting bolder in Green Meanie's mind! Hear that, Quill? Their kid's getting stronger! Oh yes! This is the place! I was pretty sure we'd find it somewhere down here. Now you know what we're looking for? Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. <laughs> if it's here. She's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect to fight? Probably. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Katathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um... Is that supposed to be me? I heard you make that speech so many times, and then Gamora says something like, We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's a cocoon? Hold you, she was gonna feed us to some giant butt. Oh, gross. Please tell me Drax is the only one who's got to go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. <laughs> Foolish followers. Think fast, beard butt! How the... You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! You cannot quell a god! Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Meanie, you're up. <sighs> Found you. What wayward wickedness is this? Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. Okay, guys, it's him, Aaron Witchcraft. 
No. Wait. In Warsaw. Ashley Warsaw. Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Oh. <sighs> Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas. Her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So... Can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... Th 